hello guys good morning welcome back to my youtube channel my name is jennifer gray i film about faith lifestyle and self-development videos if you are new here you are welcome and yes today is valentine's day as you can see i'm putting on my white and my red i don't have black and navy blue but you get it if you don't get it forget about it thank you so much for tuning in this morning i quickly i will just send a message out here my valentine's story you know valentine's day is a very very special day for me and for everybody because the day you show more love you give out the gifts you tell people how amazing they've been in your life and all of those kind of stuff it's really hyped like it's really really hyped in the world generally so i was among the category that i was in a relationship where i didn't get gifts even get a text i hardly got text messages back then at least let's forget about the gift at least the gifts the text messages to show how amazing you are or something you know just something you know how it works in how it, this part of the world where you get text messages you get gifts you get flowers so i didn't get all of the stuff most times i was the one trying to push trying to send those messages you know i know that back then things were not so favorable financial and all of those stuff but i mean it's not just about the gift alone you can make that day very special by little efforts you might want to just spend time with your friends hang out maybe a little write-up a, a valentine card you know something just little things to just spice up things one way or the other but in my own case i didn't get all of the stuff so valentine day was a normal day for me in as much as i loved god so much then i just didn't get some understanding about the whole love thing so i understand what it feels like when probably some of us watching this video we just got uh maybe we just broke up with our fans or fiancé or we're just going through some kind of emotional breakdown or you want to allow the pressure from your friends get to you listen to me it's not worth it to be honest it's not worth it one of the things that will sustain you this season let's say from so some of some they started peppering us since yesterday right so let's say since yesterday today tomorrow and maybe throughout this week one of the things that will keep you is the strength in your self-love how much do you love yourself i mean you can't give out what you don't have right you can't give out what you don't have so the question is do you do you even love yourself do you love yourself i know this video would have gone out since but this is what i have to say enjoy yourself today hmm? if you don't have anybody to get you all those stores and get it for yourself Take yourself out on a treat on a treat. Go to the cinema. Go to the spa. Go and make your hair done. Go out. Chill. Go to the beach. Take pictures. You can't always wait for somebody to love you before you feel loved. Don't allow someone's love to validate your own love for yourself, right? So even if you didn't get a text message. Even if you don't get a gift today, hmm? you are still loved. And you are loved. You can't give up on yourself. So that love you're expecting, shower it on yourself. So back to my story. I was not getting gifts today and all of those stuff, you know. And one person then I was like, okay, whatever. I mean, even if there are no gifts, I still love myself. But deep down, you will still see that you want. At times, you still just want to have those moments where you f get gifts by surprise, and you know you just see a message. Someone is telling how amazing you are, and you're like, "Oh, you get what I mean." But I didn't get the stuff. I, di I didn't get it. And when I, a lot of things were not just right. But when I finally ended the relationship as a re as a result of other things that were not just working out, I. I had to look deep into myself and say, what's with this self-love? 
how much have I worked on my self-love? And the beautiful part was that I had an understanding of how much God loves me. I had an understanding that, see, I cannot depend on human's love to be loved. I should be complete in God. So anybody that comes into my life will be a plus to my life. And not that I will depend my happiness on him, because obviously I'm a female. Depend my happiness on him. Depend that, okay, I must get gifts from him. I must, today that is Valentine, I must get all the best from him before I feel loved. There is already a solid foundation, which is God's love. And that is what supersedes every other kind of love. God knew that there would be a point where something like this will happen. The Bible said in John 3, 16, that God so loved the world that he sent his only begotten son to die for you and I. So, which man, which human being can love you so much to want to lay their life for you? So, you are loved. It's not by the gifts. It's not by the money. Okay? Stop by the flowers is an understanding that you are loved by God and you won't allow any pressure at all get to you. Take yourself out. Go and eat your money. Go and spend on yourself. Why they were doing the whole Valentine package? I'm sorry this video would have come out earlier. Go ahead and order. One, two, three, four orders. Today, chop like never before and have fun. Because it is when you are full, you will be able to love. It's when you are full, you'll be able to give out of yourself. If you are not full, you will always be demanding love. You will always be demanding care. You will always be demanding support. So when the word of God said in Colossians chapter 2 verse 10 that we are complete in him, you should find fulfillment. You should find fullness. In the love of Christ for you you should find satisfaction in the love of Christ for you and not dependent on your partners alone I mean if you are married I always say shower the love on your partner that is beautiful if you are single and you know you can go law out to do it Go ahead and show them love. Get them gifts. Support them. Make them make today a very special day for your partners. But to everyone that is going through one thing or the other, maybe you're single, you're searching, I tell you that you can still make today a very, very special day in your life. You can still make this Valentine count and not allow peer pressure hold you down. Romans chapter 8 said that. Romans 8, 38 39. What can separate us from the love of God? Persecution? Whatever. I'll put a verse out there. Nothing can separate you from the love of God. You might hurt a human, a human being, and the love for you begins to depreciate. But God, even when you mess up, He still loves you. Even when you are in your mess, God still loves you. There's this song that Moses Bliss sang. Daddy, where they pamper, daddy, where they bless. He said, even when you fall in your hand, you still hold your hand. That's the kind of father we have. That's the kind of partner we have. He's a friend that still gets closer than a brother. That is God. That is the Holy Spirit. So you have him with you. You have him in you. So make use of it. Enjoy this season of love. Call your parents. Call them. Wish them happy Valentine. Call your friends. Wish them happy Valentine. Post them on your status. I mean, give them gifts. Go to the motherless homes. Go to the less privileged. Go to the orphanage. Anywhere you know you can put love from. 
smiles on people's faces. Any way you, know, you can make people happier. Do it. Do it. Love people today in a godly way. Don't sell yourself low just because you want to get gifts. Don't sell yourself low because you got Valentine gifts from him or from her. And then you choose, okay, let me just, let me just mess up myself. It's Valentine's Day. This will pass, so you know, right? This will pass. So just have fun. I've come to realize that at times, the kind of the pressure we even go through, we are even the ones putting it on ourselves. We are the ones enforcing those pressures on our mind, on our head. To be honest, if you shield your heart and say, okay, this is Valentine's Day, I don't have a partner, okay, this will pass. Today, you go and do whatever you want to do. You go and get your gift, you get your ice cream, you spoil yourself. You do your self-love thing. You take care of yourself. You put on your best clothes and look very good. This will pass. You just find out that you're not even bothered. But at times, we are the ones that brings a lot of pressure, puts a lot of pressure on ourselves. I don't have a partner. I don't have a this. Look at my, why is my life like this? Why, why is it that nobody loves me? My daddy, love yourself. If you were to date, will you date the current version of yourself? Be full in yourself. Be a glass cup that is full with water. Be a glass cup that is full with love. That you give out effortlessly. You share your love effortlessly. It's not dependent on the circumstances. It's not dependent on how faithful he is to you or he isn't to you or how faithful your friends have been to you just love people for god is love and you are god right okay so this is just the short clip i felt i should just come out here and just tell you guys my valentine story about how from someone that was really dependent on someone for the happiness the joy to feel good to someone now that is full with the love of God to someone now that is complete in herself. So when I get gifts, when I get compliments, when I get whatever, it is a plus to my life and not just something that I must depend on for my validation. You are the most important asset for now. Take care of yourself, love yourself, cherish yourself, gift yourself, gift yourself. Treat yourself well. Rest. Don't worry about anything you cannot control. Like, I don't even know. Thank you, Lishpita. I don't know why this is coming, but don't worry about anything you can't control. Bible said, cast all your cares and burdens on him. So when you're worried, anything you can't control, you pray about it. You pray about it and you rest. You pray about it and you go to bed. But see, the thoughts that God has for you are of good and not of evil to give you an expected end and i know because i have a loving father you have a loving father he's my father and he's your father so speak to him and let him give you your valentine gifts all right guys thank you so much for watching to this very end if you're able to watch this end please do well to subscribe do it to share and turn on the notification button at the right side of your screen so whenever i upload videos you'll be able to get the notification and watch thank you